Is your HDMI no longer appearing on your TV? Watch this video now because I'm going to teach you three ways to solve this problem. First, to solve the HDMI problem, right click on your desktop in an empty space and click on Graphic Properties or Display Settings. And here you are going to click on Identify. After that, you can also go here on Advanced Display Settings and check clicking here and see if there are any other monitor plugged. Like you can see it's marked display 1 and it's not HDMI but down here we, we have the LG ultra wide tertiary HDMI. Then just click it. So this is the first method to solve this problem and if this doesn't work don't worry we will move on to the second way to solve this issue of no image on the TV. Now the second method is as follow. You're going to install a program here, which is called Drive Booster. Why install this program? Because it automatically finds missing drives on your computer or laptop. What might be happening with your HDMI or your laptop or your computer is a lack of comfortable drives or outdated drives. So to avoid having to search for drives on the internet until you find the right one, you can install this program, which is the one I use and I highly recommend and I have dedicated also a video about it, which you can find here in the cards. Just open, see it, watch it, and you're gonna learn so much more about it. I've actually made several videos on this HDMI issue, so I will leave it then in the description and on the screen. And in some way, you'll be able to solve this HDMI problem. And if you can't resolve it through this video, there are several other videos available in this channel. So now let's install the program, which is very easy. You are going to open the Google. You are going to type Drive Booster. You are going to choose here Drive Booster for Windows. And then get the most recent version. I'm going to leave the link on the description below. So you won't have to worry about searching. Just click in Download. When it's finished download, just click to open. Be attentive during the installation to avoid installing unnecessary programs because typically these programs come with a lot of others. So during the installation, you're gonna see some options that might be attempt to install additional programs. So the installation process might be slightly different, but keep an eye out. Sometimes those programs want to install partnerships programs but you don't need them, so be vigilant and then check them as you progress. Like right here, it's a red marker to install iTop VPN and iTop screen recorder. So we are going to click here and here to mark. I'm, I'm going to also click on custom install, just to make sure. Okay, here we're going to choose where we're going to install. Gonna click install. Again, iTop PC desktop, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I agree to install iTop. No, no thanks. So, so be aware about it and don't fall in it. Now the process is installing and you just have to worry. And now you just have to wait. Again, asking for something to download or to subscribe and you are going to click no thanks and now the installation is completed and once the installation is completed you're ready to proceed now you're going to click here to check the update so you're going to click on scan out bar before mark the land more option and now it will scan your computer and show which drives are missing or outdated you can then update those drivers and resolve your HDMI problem whether it's not appearing or not working on your TV or monitor. So allow this process to complete, which may take some time depending on your machine and internet speed. So here's what showed me. We have several outdated drives, but let's move on. Let's take a look and update all the drives or no. Click on updated now. And of course, remember that in the free version of the drive booster, not all drivers will be updated, but in normal tests, you should be able to update the drive you're looking for, which is the HDMI driver, okay? Then click on update, 
click on confirm like here ok and proceed with the update the program will download the drives and then install them automatically and at the end it will likely ask you to restart your computer or laptop and after the restart test the DMI problem see if now it's working and if it works let us know in the comments if it worked now you can even check automatically reboot PC so you can do that before you're going to bed now if you haven't managed to resolve this issue the next steps to resolve this problem of a DMI not working we are going to an actual TV because sometimes people are trying to connect the laptop with the TV and it's not working so we are going to resolve this issue right now so we are here on live and the another mistake that usually happens to you guys is when you are trying to connect the HDMI on the laptop to the screen and you are not being able to. You just connected the cable on the laptop and on the TV and it's not working. Now I'll show you how. It's actually very simple to resolve. People doesn't usually know that, but you actually are using the wrong HDMI option. So for example, you can try on HDMI one and it's working. But like you saw, I just plugged it and it wasn't working because it was on the DMI 2. So you're gonna try to find in your control where is the option to go to the menu for me, it's right here. And then it will show that here. And then you're going to look for the option of a DMI. For me, I have three options of a DMI. And you are gonna just pass in by each one and see and check which one is the right option for me it's the hdmi one option and that's it i hope i helped you with any of those methods and if any of those methods worked for you please leave a comment below if you aren't subscribed please subscribe and i see you in the next video